And there we are, folks. That is the pattern that I was working on. That is the 18 reactors that I want to place. At this point, you can uh, you can go and fill in the, the middle and do what you want to do. I want to copy all of this and paste it another layer up. So what I need to do before that is work out where I'm going to paste the layer onto or what height. So we're going to do that now. So this one here. That I'm standing on this is the height okay I'll be clear about this this is the height I want the platform to be at however that's the height I need to put a platform to paste onto and that will make sense in a minute so just to recap, folks, I want to paste this found this whole layer. I want to copy and paste it at this height. And when I do that in the calculator, I will actually be paste, pasting on top of this foundation height. Okay? And that will make sense soon. So what we're going to do is... I'm going to save this. So this is the foundation, the height that I want to paste onto. The first thing I'm going to do is select everything here. And I'm going to go copy items. Now they're in the calculator's own little clipboard. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it again and I'm going to select add foundation helpers on selection boundaries and what this does and I'm going to select yellow because it's easy to see it creates a symmetrical object so I'm going to and it, and it places this one, this one, this one, and this one. This foundation here is what we're going to paste on. This is the center of the object. And when I paste onto this foundation, it will place the identical shape in the same location. I'm going to change the height of this in a minute. I don't need these ones out here. Now, I'm just going to look at the properties of this one. I want to look at the position, and I'm going to get the z-axis value here. I'm copying that. You can right-click if you want to and go copy. And then I'm going to edit this one's position. And I'm going to paste in that value. And the last thing I really want to make clear, when you are pasting objects in the calculator, it's very important that the rotation of the object you're pasting onto is a zero rotation. Because it can it makes for off it, it'll skew things and it won't look too good. So now that I've done that, all I need to do is, and I, I want to make really clear here that's five meters and that's 31 meters and that's 31 meters well, let's turn off the uh one second we'll just turn off the player so that there is 31 meters and that's 33 meters so that's where 33 meters is where i want the the, the new pace to go so all i need to do is right click on this foundation spawn around paste 432 items there are some offset things you can do here if you want to i'm not going to worry about this at this point in time submit and then you can see it's doubled up and you can see 33 meters and i can actually 
use the sliders on the right and take everything away and you can see that I have at 33 oh, I didn't do that right at 33 meters there we go that's the 33 meters if I come down a smidgen more that was the height that I pasted onto and then if I even went down further all the way down to the bottom and then brought this slider down past 33 now you can see that these are at 5 meters so that's it that's done so that's what I wanted to do I'm going to download that save and here we go now we have these one on top of the other and look at that alignment perfect simple as that that folks is how you use the calculator to create shapes in particular the main thing i was really educating you on was the pivoting of the foundation that's that's a real amazing feature of the calculator that allows you to do a lot of these awesome shapes and then we got another example of how to copy and paste and understanding how to know where the object is going to be placed and that sort of stuff thank you very much and uh look forward to seeing you soon